Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of the Dragon's Lair. Um, if you watched my videos that I posted on Friday the 13th, you will know that I came up with a suggestion for myself that I figured I would do. Sorry for the, the shirt. My good shirts are being washed. It's laundry day. Um, but, um, so I wanted to get, I wanted to do that since I had access to it at the moment. And this is my writing stuff that I take with me when I travel, like camping trips, hotels, wherever. It's in a nice wooden box with semi-Celtic designs. So, it's cushioned inside so everything doesn't fall around or move around. And at some point, I will actually get a piece of foam that's cut out into individual pieces. But when I travel, if I travel on planes and take this, each individual piece is wrapped in paper and stuff and then nicely put in there with um, extra foam so it doesn't move around. And it doesn't move around now too much, so... But I bought the box, and I came up, I always had a traveling um, writing kit bag. I still have the writing bag, but I always had a traveling writing kit. It just had specific pens, paper, um, letter opener, and stuff. So I figured I'd come up with an actual travel writing box that goes with me whenever I travel. And... I'll show you what's in this part. This is where I keep the quill. So if I go on long distance, long, if I stay more than like a couple of days, if I'm there for like a week or a couple of weeks and stuff, I can pin letters to people using a quill. Which is cool. And then all my other gear, my travel fountain pen, which is a red dragon. So, and then it sits, and then on the desk, this stuff will be laid out and set up on the on the hotel desk or my camping desk and it sits on this little black pen holder. And then I've got a letter opener for the Florida Lees. I don't have an extra dragon letter opener. I found this at a Ren Fair and they only had one of them so this one stays on my desk at home. Well, at least it was a bottle and not a knife. Next and is a dragon, endless, as no how dual dragon is, wax stamp, because I seal all my letters, all my envelopes, with a, wax, with a sealing wax. And it is a dragon, just like the one at home. They're kind of the same, but they have different dragons. This one's more of a European dragon at home, and this one is more of a... Asian, I think more of a Chinese dragon. Sorry about the lighting. Let's see if I can turn the lighting around. There we go. Yeah, that worked. Um, next is the... Um, the ceiling spoon and the little burner for the, seal, the wax burn, for the um, burning of the wax to seal stuff. This is my old one that I used to use for my desk, and then I just stuck it in my travel kit. So, and then the wax sticks that I have not I have used replaced recently. Uh, little 
case of black ink for the fountain pen. A dragon quill case or dragon quill holder with ink for my quill. And that's black. And a little bobber for dry for flattening the ink after you write with a fountain pen or a quill. So that's the box. And everything seems to fit in there. So I came up with this I, I came up with this a few years ago when I figured you know what? I always travel with a writing kit, but I don't always need to have my quills and my other fountain pen with me. And this actually has its own little case. Um, and I figured, I travel, I have a nice good suitcase that protects stuff, so I figured, okay, I can box all this up. Box all this up and put it in and seal it. And then when I travel, it can go in my suitcase. And it fits perfectly. I travel with a couple other travel cases too. And I'll do videos on those later. But, and it's not too heavy. It is, it's wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is. But, I got it because it had like cool interwoven interwoven designs on it that make it more semi-Celtic. So, um, that's, that's my travel case that goes with me no matter where I go on trips. Go to hotels, fly, take trains, to Ren Fairs. It actually sits on my desk in my tent at the Ren Fair and stuff and at some point I will get another quill pin like this for it because this is the one I regularly use when I'm writing letters here at home and it sits in this little dragon pin cup amongst all my other quills and things and my home wax even though I do have lots of sticks, I use those more often because they melt faster. So other than that, that was, that's today's video. Um, stay tuned. Tuesday will be an interesting video because I plan on doing a 1982-83 G.I. Joe um, collection review of the, all the G.I. Joes from those two years. Um, other than that, have a good weekend and enjoy the, for the people that, that work out of home, enjoy the three day weekend because Monday. So have fun and so long.